everybody, John Brewer here. This week on Survival Exploration 201, we're going to be talking about cargo ships. Cargo ships are the NPC-controlled ships that occasionally spawn in your world when you've turned them on. There are nine designs of ships that can spawn in. There are small, medium, and large sizes of trade, mining, and military ships. Cargo ships are an option that can be toggled on and off in your world. Note that the cargo ships feature also controls whether or not exploration ships and stations will spawn in your world. To figure out how cargo ships worked, I spent 8 hours monitoring cargo ships in an empty world. Once the first ship is spawned in, another will spawn every 10 to 17 minutes. Exactly what spawns in is a probability function. There's a 57% chance that a small ship will spawn in, about a 29% chance of a medium ship, and around a 14% chance of a large ship spawning in. Within those groups, it's even odds if the ship is a trade, mining, or military ship. The ship spawns in at a range between 7.5 and 12.5 thousand meters from the player. It has a fixed course and speed. Small ships travel at 25 meters per second, medium ships at 17, and large ships travel at 10 meters per second. When it spawns in, the control chair for the ship has an invisible autopilot in it. The autopilot contains the position at which the ship will despawn. That position is always 10 kilometers from the spawn point in the direction that the ship is traveling. Because ships travel at different speeds, they'll take different amounts of time to cover the 10 kilometers between spawn and despawn. Keep these speeds in mind when deciding which ships to attempt to capture. To prevent the ship from despawning, you need to either destroy the autopilot or alter the ship's trajectory so that it doesn't reach its despawn point. To hack the autopilot, be sure to grind the ship's control chair down below the blue line on the build status meter before rebuilding it. In addition, all cargo ships have some sort of defensive armament. Trade ships usually only carry enough ammunition for less than 15 seconds of sustained fire, so strafing at high speed at the edge of their 500 meter engagement range can quickly run them out of munitions. Military ships, on the other hand, carry enough ammunition for potentially a couple of minutes of fire, which makes taking them intact more of a challenge. Remember that in creative mode, though, all turrets have bottomless magazines. Once captured, cargo ships can be ground down for parts or repaired and modified for service. Either way, they make for an engaging alternative to mining for building up your fleet. Until next time, I'm John Brewer, bringing you better gaming through applied mathematics.